So the Marvels is right around the corner. Marvel's got to do their best to really get people excited. What's a good way to get people excited for the new Captain Marvel movie coming out for the for the Marvels for Miss Marvel's theatrical debut? Well, we put out some new art. I'm sure this will get people excited. And no, the heads aren't cut off in this picture. The focus of the poster that got commissioned is them holding hands. That's right. I'm sure every one of you watching this video is now excited to go see this movie. I'm sure you can't contain your excitement. You're probably now buying tickets as you look at this. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at this and dunking on it because it's a joke. Now, what's funny is every outlet is now running damage control. And I talked about this yesterday. Captain Marvel's sequel could bring in half of original amid superhero fatigue. Here are the best and worst performing films of the genre. We'll come back to this. Here's one from GameSpot. The Marvel is expected to make half as much money as Captain Marvel in opening weekend. The Marvels is expected to fall short of the first movie at the box office. Well, no shit. No shit. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, it's going to make a lot less than the first one because you don't have two of the biggest movies of this generation uh, to prop it up. It's going to be hilarious because the cope has already started. And... All of these outlets are screaming superhero fatigue. People are tired of superheroes. Superheroes are done. It's over for superheroes. Until you look at how good Spider-Man 2 is selling for PlayStation, and this is only on one system. You can't get this on PC. You can only get this on PlayStation, and it's still sold 2.5 million copies in 24 hours. Everyone is willing to plop that 70 bucks down. Maybe even more, depending on what they bought. If they bought the deluxe edition or the collector's edition, they probably spent a hell of a lot more. So people seem to be pretty damn excited for superheroes uh, if it's something that they want. And everybody loves Spider-Man. I don't see any fatigue here. I see millions of people rushing out to download or buy this game. I wonder how it's it's sitting at store shelves that still sell games. I wonder if they're all sold out of the physical copies. I haven't gone and looked yet, but, you know, it's funny. Uh, you can actually pull something out to contradict everything all these outlets are saying. And look up the Marvel's superhero fatigue. You'll see at least 20 articles now claiming that's the reason that it's failing. And this clearly proves that <laughs> there's no real superhero fatigue problem is there's bad movie fatigue this picture represents marvel phase four <laughs> this this is actually the perfect example of marvel phase four right here this is what the mcu has become nobody's excited for this shit this is like saying oh barbie's audience is gonna come in and save them they've completely discarded their main audience. For example, my channel has 9% of my total views are women. The rest is all men. And why? Because men like comic books, action movies, just about all the stuff that has been destroyed by a lot of these companies because there can't be anything for just men anymore. It has to be for everybody. But women can have movies made for them. We can even take men's movies and totally disregard the men because we know they'll show up anyway, even though they're not showing up anymore, uh, and try to get this audience that's never going to be interested in this shit. And I'm not saying all women. Every time I say this, they'll say, oh, it's, 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 I'm a woman and I like it. I didn't say, I didn't say all women. But the majority of women don't like this shit. But they're going to keep trying to get them until they run this 
franchise this brand into the ground. It's just funny to me. How does how does Marvel's Spider-Man 2 selling 2.5 million in a co- copies in 24 hours a uh, back up this supposed superhero fatigue that's going on all over the place? Maybe it's the fact that just about everything that Marvel has put out entertainment-wise, movie and television-wise has been complete dog shit for the past five years, six years. When did Endgame come out? As soon as Endgame came out, that's when the, uh, it just cut. And even Endgame had some problems, but it was still pretty good. I liked Endgame, other than that cringe as hell uh, scene where they had all of the women stop fighting and team up. Hey, hold on a sec. I know we're all fighting, but that woman needs help. And they all ran over there. <laughs> that was cringe as fuck. And that's when you knew things were going downhill. That was the moment. They're like, here's a preview of what's to come. So I'm not surprised by this. It's a bad movie fatigue. Bad movie fatigue. I used to kind of think that maybe superheroes were on their way out. And then you see this kind of shit, you know, and this selling off of the off the rack. Like This game is flying off shelves. Uh, I have some nitpicks with it for sure. But overall, the gameplay in the game is fantastic. If you just want to kick ass as Spider-Man and you don't care about the story, uh, you can definitely get that in this game, for sure. And uh, I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. But what they're not looking for is a couple of women holding hands in a movie poster to get them excited for a movie. That doesn't do shit. All these excuses. The Marvels, the second installment, installment in the Captain Marvel series, aims to tie together the stories of Carol Danvers, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan as their cosmic powers become intertwined. Box office projections for the Marvels are disappointingly disappointingly low compared to previous Marvel films, potentially setting up the movie for failure even before it releases. The declining interest in superhero movies, oversaturation saturation of the market, and mediocre reviews of recent MCU releases are contributing to the potential lack of success for the Marvels despite its potential as a breath of fresh air for the franchise. How is this movie a breath of fresh air? The director came out and said, what makes this movie different from the other ones is that it's goofy. (laughs) Telling me right there that this director has never watched a Marvel movie in her life. Because phase four is the age of goofy feminism. Anyway, I just find this funny. They are making every excuse in the world for this piece of shit. And it's funny to see. It couldn't possibly fail because it's a piece of shit movie. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.